Hello. It's a little late for Super Note. Everybody, this is our Matrix. Well, in episode 22, I believe it is, of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we got a few more heart pieces, and in this episode, or actually I think it was only like one more heart piece in the last episode, I don't know. Who knows, but in this episode we're going to continue with Honey and Darling's minigame here, the second day minigame. Yeah, this is kind of like the one for the Deku Scrub, remember? That one that we did really early on in the LP? But you do it as a human now, and you need bombs and arrows. So it's really, it's exactly like that make game, but nothing like it at all, so... Yeah, basket bomb day. Sweet. Uh, and what do you have to do? Get a bomb inside every basket in the time it takes us to dance through one song. Okay. So same time as before. If you throw it with too much power, you fall flat for So be careful, right, darling? Are you ready? Start the music. Yeah, so same timer as before, which means same time limit as before. And again, the platform will increase in speed. Uh, I did start my timer, didn't I? Thank you. All right, here we go. Get ready for it. And yeah. And don't worry, you have unlimited bombs for this, just like I had unlimited bomb chews for whatever it was last time. Ow! Uh, yeah, you got one. Yeah, this one's actually quite a bit easier than the last one, so don't worry about it. And I think the last one's actually easiest, the one on the third day. Yeah. Okay, come on. Oh, that was a skill shot. I like that one. And that was just an epic fail shot. Okay. Oh, come on. It, like, bounced out of the basket. That's just ridiculous. Okay, got that one. Uh, I don't know. There we go, got it. It's kind of stupid that if it just, like, lands on the basket and not in the basket, then it doesn't explode the basket. That, Like, it technically it should, shouldn't it? Ow. God. Am I trying to suicide bomb Honey and Darling there? Okay. Yeah, see? Perfect. Right on the first try. Not even that hard, really. Oh god. You really you guys really shouldn't flood the place like that's gonna ruin your carpet, you know. Okay. And we get another purple rupee. That's great. They're great. Except they're not cereal. Okay now. So, uh since I can really think of nothing else to do, even though I'm probably missing something really obvious, like that dog racing minigame in Romani Ranch that I could be doing right now. Uh I'm just going to go ahead and skip to the third day here. I'm going to do it really quickly. I, I, I'm just going to leave it in. Let you, I'll, I'll have a little chat with you guys while Link plays his nice little tunes. How have you been? I've been very good. Have you seen it? I've been playing some awesome mini games in Majora's Mask, and I'm getting pretty lucky with all of them. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Maybe I'm not lucky. Maybe it's just skill. You know? 70% luck, 100% skill, or whatever. That, however that song goes, I don't know. Alright, uh, yeah. God. Those, th those things look kind of, like, sharp on the edge. Those, like, circles that entomb Link. I don't know. I feel like they'd cut him up into minced meat or something. Who knows. Okay, so let's head in. 6 a.m. sharp. Are you guys open yet? You're oh, you're still dancing. God. Okay. Uh, looks like we have a visitor. Yeah, it's the same customer. Okay. And now, today is target shooting. So, yes, you need to beat the Woodfall Temple, or at least get the bow from inside of it before you can do this. Alright, one place, 10 rupees as per usual, and just basically hit the targets in target shooting. Alright, here we go. So, move out over here, and start firing. Yeah, basically you have unlimited arrows. And I think you can actually hit these guys too if you want. Yeah, see, like that? That hurts! I don't care. Shut up. Stop whining. Thank you. And there's actually a lot more targets than there were, like, baskets or, uh, bomb chew targets in the last two mini games. There's, like, a lot more of these that you have to hit, so. It feels like it's never ending, but don't worry, it'll end eventually. Yeah. I, as you can tell, I'm not really having too much problems with this, especially since you have infinite arrows to infinity and beyond. Arrows. I'm making a lot of references in, these, in this recording session. I don't know. Thumbs up if you noticed that. Uh, like my video if you noticed that. God. Or else just like my video if you like it. 
I mean, if you enjoy it, then rate it with the like button. I'm I'm not. I'm not like a rape a rating whore or anything. Okay. <laughs> Honey, he he got perfect score three days in a row. This is all we have left to give him, honey. And harpies. Yes, they gave me their hearts. Oh my goodness. I wonder, are we truly happy, darling? Oh goodness. Oh, looks like they might have some little problems in their relationship. Let's see. Let's just watch them for a little bit. Oh, she kind of turns her head down. And he's like, no, turn your head back up and look at me. God, you stupid slut. Not slut. That's not the right word. Oh well. All right. Um. It looks like that's about it for the mini games in Clocktown, in Clooktown. So, uh, you know, what the hell? Let's just, before I move on with the story into the mountains, I'm gonna go and have a crack at that dog racing mini game back in Romani Ranch. I know I really shouldn't, that I should just leave well enough alone and wait until I get an item that you can use in that mini game to make it easier, because you know there is one. That allows you to cheat. But, um, alas, I like to do it without cheating. Just pure luck. You know, it's like real gambling. And I'm a gambling addict, so it's perfect. No, I'm not really. Uh, don't send me messages or comments or anything saying, like, gambling is wrong. I know. Don't worry. Okay. So, yeah, Link, just run your little bunny self over there to that dog racing mini game, and I'll explain it when we get there. Cutting. No, just kidding. That would be so ridiculous. Not even Chugga Conroy would cut this out. Like this trip from the entrance to Romani Ranch until the dog racing thing. God, no. Okay, let me in. Thank you. And this is the Doggy Racetrack. Cool. It's a cute name. Right, what do you say? What do you want on a day like this? This is the Mama Moo. Mama Moo? Okay. Mama Moo Yan's Doggy Racetrack. Didn't you know that? Oh, you didn't? You must be a retard then. Do you want to try dog race? The minimum bet is 10 rupees. Will you still try? Yeah. Then first, go and fetch a doggy that you think will run the fastest and bring it here. Alright. I don't even have to explain this. I'll just let her do it this time. I'll be lazy for a change. Okay, you look like a kind of fast dog. I don't know. They all look the exact same, so there's really no way to tell. This is all luck. Is that doggy fine? As long as he doesn't poop on my head, he's fine. Sure. If the dog that you brought takes for... If the dog you brought me takes first place, you get triple your bet. Second place, it gets double. If the dog you've chosen takes third through fifth, you'll break, you'll break even and get back however much you bet. If your dog goes any worse than that, you'll lose whatever you bet. Alright, I'm going to bet, you want to bet 50 rupees every time, unless you're just like grinding for rupees or something, which is, this is a terrible way to grind for rupees until you get a later item. Bet 50 rupees, because if you get, if you bet 50 rupees and your dog takes first place, you'll get 150 rupees. And since that's like the maximum you could win here, potentially, or something, or like if you get more than 150 rupees, she'll give you a heart piece. So, yeah, just hand out heart pieces left and right in this game. They pretty much had to, since there's so many fewer bosses than Ocarina of Time. And at this point, there's really nothing you can do but watch the cutscene of the dogs racing. Yeah, run fast, dog! Oh, he's kind of in the middle now. I don't know. He could pull ahead, we'll see. That stupid blue dog is up front. Oh, no. Oh, come on. No, run fast. What? Don't fall behind. You retard. Oh, my God. Okay, run faster, you stupid dog. I know you're not going to win this, but... Come on, come on. At least take, like, fifth or something. I don't oh, look at you. What are you doing way back in the pack there, God? Not even fifth? You cost me all my money, you stupid seventh placer. God, I hate you. Damn. Okay. Yeah. That was a bad choice, I know. Okay. Uh, I'm probably going to cut some of this out since even with my epic minigame luck or skills or whatever you want to call it, not even I can guarantee when I'm going to get this since it's all luck based. So, I don't know. Alright, I will just cut now and I'll probably have some bloopers or something. We'll see. Alright, just a moment. Come on, move faster. Move faster. Don't fall back further. Yay, it's the one golden dog and... What? The fuck are you doing? You stupid dog. Ugh. Even when I bet 10 rupees on you, you can't win. Oh, look. You did the best out of anyone, but... I know any of the dogs I picked, but you still suck. I'm sorry. 
I want one too. Well, you can have one, dickhead. Watch it go boom. Eh, my dogs always suck. No. Look at you, second. No, no, last place. Look. Well, screw you. Oh? No, I thought it was catching up for a second there. Probably just falling further behind. Because that's just the kind of dog he is. And you blew it. You blew your chance. Alrighty then. Um. Well, you know what, guys? I think that uh, I'm out of rupees now, so. That was a bad choice, man. Okay, whatever. No, I don't want. What the? Okay, yeah, I can't play again. That's right. Screw you. Okay, so I think I'm just going to end off my recording session here right now and probably progress to the mountains in the next episode instead of continuing this again. Probably come back to it later. We'll see. And yeah, terrible luck at this mini game. That's great. So thank you everyone for watching. And until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you. And...